Mike lost his job, unable to repay a bank loan of over $1.6 million. He wanted to take the waterway to say goodbye to this beautiful world. Instead, the waves sent him to the beach. He spent the night alone under a bridge in a mess. The sadness did not diminish much. Seeing a ship coming in the distance, he hurriedly tried to call for help. Unfortunately, the tourists thought they were greeting him. It's better to write down the letters of distress on the beach. Hungry all day and all night. Eat a bite of roadside wildflowers. Surprisingly, he was moved to tears. He asked himself that he had never done anything bad in his life. But why should life choke his throat? Since you can't get out, then let's live on the island. What drill would to get fire is a lie. In practice, a lighter is the fastest. Throw away all the credit cards in your purse. He was only a river away from the city. But it was as if he had been abandoned by the whole world. The next day, he started collecting useful scraps. He found a huge duck boat, which he used as his sleeping quarters. Fishing for the first time. Couldn't tell his toes from the fish. Almost grilled his toes. He finally gets a grilled fish dinner. One bite. It smells so good. One more bite. It tastes so good. After eating and drinking his fill, he slept beautifully in the flowers. It was a comfortable little life. Just then, he stepped on the wrapper of the noodles. The attractive picture on the paper was a real delicacy. There was a packet of seasoning inside. Suddenly the barbecue in his hand no longer smelled good. At night, when he went to bed, he also dreamed of the fragrant noodles. The temptation of food made him feel energized. He got a bunch of ingredients and mashed them all up, but he couldn't make any flour at all. The ducks left a lot of bird droppings on their bed. He grabbed some and studied them. Suddenly he was inspired. Bird Birds like to eat crops. There must be indigestible seeds in the poop. We can use bird poop to plant the land. He was as excited as a baby when he thought of this. He started to collect the droppings. Then he started to cultivate the land. After a few tosses and turns, finally, he made his own acre of land. He was so tired and sweaty. Suddenly he felt that the sweat smelled good. He used his clothes to make a scarecrow to chat with it. Three months have passed. Mike has long changed from a spiritual boy to a long-haired wild man. He has become a perfect tree climber. Every morning a bird's egg. A cup of tea. With a little natural sweat. It was delicious. At noon. It was time to work. Don't waste the sweat. Collect it and eat it on the barbecue. The little seedling has already sprouted. It was as if he saw the fried noodles beckoning him. That day. He was collecting scraps in the woods when he. He accidentally found a glass bottle thrown down by a girl. Inside was a piece of white paper. In the inconspicuous corner were the words hello. This is not the English he wrote on the beach. Had someone been spying on him? Since someone said hello to him, he immediately responded. After waiting for three months and 17 days, the girl finally got a reply. On the beach was written how are you? At night, the, the girl came to the bridge again, threw down the bottle. When she came back, she was attracted by the wild flowers and butterflies on the roadside. The whole world was so beautiful. Mike on the island received another bottle of wine. On it was written fine. Thank you. And you, the girl's heart burst with joy, because Mike also responded on the beach. What makes Mike even happier is that, he had been planting corn for more than three months. Finally, the harvest was in, thinking that he will be able to eat fried noodles in a short time. I can't tell you how happy I am. The girl saw Mike so fond of fried noodles, so she called a delivery man and slipped the money to the delivery man through the door. The delivery man complained as he rode. I've never seen such a delivery address before. Even his legs were breaking. He hadn't seen a human for months. Mike was so worried. He pretended not to see. The delivery guy put all kinds of noodles on the floor. But when Mike saw them, he gave them all back to the delivery guy. Why is that? The girl who was watching secretly was crying. The delivery man returned the noodles with a whimper and told the girl that a bowl of noodles is the man's hope. He did not want to break this hope, so he sent it back again. Hearing this, the girl was deeply touched. Hope is the greatest support for everyone to live. On this windy afternoon, Mike finally had a good harvest day. He mixed all the ingredients together. Mike, who has been working for months on everything from seeds to corn. Today he was finally going to make a bowl of traditional fried noodles. The noodles are already made, and the seasoning packets that had been in. The dust for so long made their appearance. Once the ingredients are all in place, and then the plate is perfect. The more precious the taste, the more, the plainer it looks on the outside. The tortellini is stirred back and forth with chopsticks. The tortellini are perfectly blended with the seasoning. It gives off a familiar and long-standing taste. At this moment, what he ate was not noodles, but hope. After seeing the scene, the girl could no longer sleep. She finally came out of the cupboard and went to sleep in the living room, guarding the corn she had planted. It was her hope, too. Mike asks the girl on the beach who she really is. The girl chose a picture. She wanted to throw it, but in the end, she didn't have the courage. Mike searched the woods for a reply from the girl, but there was no news of the girl. Not long after, a super typhoon hits the island. Mike's home and vegetable fields were destroyed. Even the big fat duck is going to leave it. The river guards found the place. Mike desperately tried to escape. After all, he was arrested. He wanted to stay here and wait for the girl's answer. The staff took him to the shore and the staff took him ashore and threw him out on the street as a tramp. The girl saw all this in front of the camera. The whole person in Mike-like. It was as if her body had been emptied. She gathered the courage to open the door. For the first time, she ran out into the street to find Mike's whereabouts. She came to the park. All she saw were the old slippers that Mike had left behind. There was no hope of survival. Mike is back to square one. He had to take a bus to the 63rd floor building to say goodbye to the world. The girl runs for her life behind the bus. With the loss of Mike, her life would be back to 
to square one. But the bus started anyway, it slowly disappeared before her eyes. The girl was in tears, no answer to Mike, it would be a mistake she would never be able to fix. Just then, the air raid siren suddenly sounded, the cars and people stopped, the girl cried tears of joy, and chased after the bus, under the brilliant illumination of the sun and moon. The running girl finally waited for the shackles of autism to be removed. Welcome to her spring, she finally caught up with the bus, caught up with Mike, she tells him her name, a sudden wave of warmth rushes through her heart, the cold city has finally given Mike the warmth of a whole summer, at the end of the movie, the bus starts again, Mike grabbed the girl who almost fell down, a failed old boy who is determined to die, and a lonely, self-absorbed girl who has never seen anyone, in this moment to cling to each other, what awaits them will be a life full of happiness.